Did you change much of that game plan going into Saskatchewan compared to what's going to happen this weekend? Will we change? Yeah, will you change much? Well, you know, we are who we are in some respects. I mean, we're still going to have our base offense, our base defense, and our base special teams. But, yeah, you, I mean, you always go into a back-to-back -back game with some changes, yes. Yeah. Given the number of points you gave up, um, you know, did, did any, was any of that because you weren't able to give it your undivided attention to the defense? Um, I don't think so. I just think... Uh, we had some guys who didn't play very well, and I also think that circumstances led to a lot of points being scored. I mean, we had a block punt for a touchdown. We had some punts that weren't very well kicked, and uh, you know, then we had the two turnovers late in the fourth quarter on the uh, kickoffs return. So, you know, the, that tends to snowball. So, you know, I think a lot of that you, you give them a lot of good field position, they're going to score some points. Any team would. Do you have any message for fans out there? They're not very happy after that game. Uh, any message for them going into Vangible? Yeah, we're not dead yet. We're, we're going to go out there and we're going to give it everything we got. And we need their support. What about just the backlash that Joe Mack is feeling? You're probably aware, you know, Facebook page calling for his firing and stuff like that. Uh, do you feel a little caught in the middle or how do you feel? Well, first of all, I'm not aware of it because I don't go on Facebook. And secondly, you know, especially now that I'm in this role as a head coach, I don't read the newspapers or watch TV. Not the news, at least. You met with the players. What's their mood today, do you think, Tim? Well, I, I mean, they're dejected, I'd say. I mean, uh, I know on the bus coming back, I mean, there wasn't, there was very little talk and, and I think guys were not only dejected but shocked that uh, things occurred the way they occurred. So um, I know there'll be a lot of guys who um, that will give it everything they got this week. You came in talking about holding these guys to account and they just got drilled 52 to nothing. Are we going to see some of that in practice this week? I think well certainly the penalties will be held accountable be held accountable for just like last week um, but uh, I mean you may see a, a few wrinkles here and there that are, that help them out but you know we're not going to punish guys for playing bad I mean we're, I mean they didn't want to play bad so um, we just got to make sure that we play play well this week how much of a toll did it take on you just personally for your head coaching baby? I mean, did you have not much sleep since then? Or? Uh, it was an inauspicious start, let's put it that way, and it, certainly not the way I wanted it to go. How did you feel about their effort? I didn't think the effort was bad. I mean, I know guys were really playing their butts off even when we were way behind, so I don't... It's more assignment mistakes than anything else. And, and to be quite honest with you, we had guys on offense and defense and on special teams. Some guys were doing their own thing, and that's the stuff that we're going to address this week. You'd say everybody was playing their asses up right to the end? I'd say pretty much everybody was.